Hello and welcome to Math Lesson 91, Geometric Formulas. You'll notice on the board behind me I have a chart. This is not a ratio box, it's a chart. This chart is available in your book on page 474, and I want you to follow along. I have four shapes here. I have a square, I have a rectangle, a parallelogram, and a triangle. We're going to write down the formulas for the perimeter of each of these, and then for the area of each of these. We'll start with the square first. So, on a square, all four sides are identical. The area, or the perimeter of it, is 4s. In this case, s is equal to psi. The area is s squared, or s times s, whatever the distance of a side is. What is the area, what is the perimeter, how do you find perimeter of a rectangle? Perimeter is equal to 2 times your length plus 2 times your width. Pretty easy to do. Area of a rectangle, area is equal to length times width. What about the perimeter for the parallelogram? The perimeter for the parallelogram is a little bit different. That's 2 times your base plus 2 times your side. And your area in this case is also equal to base times height. Now if you recall, Parallelograms, they have slanty lines. Now the slanty lines, do we use, is that our height? Is the slanty line height? No. If you recall, usually with one of these we'll have something that looks like that with that little dotted, it might be a little harder for you to see, but it's a dotted line in there and that gives you your height. How do we find the perimeter of a triangle? It's S1 plus S2 plus S3, different sides. You can't multiply one side length unless it's a perfectly identical side triangle. Right triangles aren't that way. Isosceles are, but right or not. How do we find the area of the triangle? Area is equal to one-half base times height. And there is lesson 91. I mean, it's just here's the formulas. Do the math. Have a great day.